This is a Legion Go that is about five months old and it is starting to get some thermals problems. So uh, yeah, so to fix this, I will need some thermal paste, first of all. And I'll also have to clean the vents on it. Uh, I have a toothbrush, I have some isopropyl alcohol, Q-tips, and some dry vipes that will uh, I will combine with the isopropyl alcohol. And I also need a toolkit. So, first of all, I'm going to take off these Joy-Cons, or whatever you want to call them, controllers. Then you're going to t uh, turn it off, of course. You're going to turn it around and find the right tool. So, if you have an iFixit toolkit, this is zero, 0 And now I'll just start with unscrewing the back here. Boom, that's one screw. So there are sc six screws on the back here. If your Legion Go is newer, like two months or even newer than that, then you might not need to do this, but I mean, if you're, it's in a dusty environment or whatever, it, it might just be good to do just in case, because it will fix the thermals a little, and even more if it's pre-owned. Just, this will solve all your issues. Now I need to take the back off. So I'm going to just lift by the pad here. That did not work. And then I'll try to stick my nail under here. You can also use a pry tool. I might end up doing that. Or it might not be needed. We'll see. You might need a pry tool. Yeah, I don't need that. Boom. Comes off. Be careful with all sides. Make sure you have uh, removed all of the six screws. And boom, that is that. Now, as you can see, there is some dust in here. Let me just change to 1x. There we go. Uh, you can remove the battery or remove the battery connector, but I'm not going to do that because I don't really want to mess with that. So now what I'll have to do is, first of all, remove the fan. I'm just going to get rid of that. So there is one screw up here, one here. So I just found out that I can't really access the fan without removing more screws. So keep track of all of the screws, what screws you remove, what screws you don't, I guess. So removed that. I'm going to now remove the plate here. I don't know why they made it this hard to do, but hey, I mean, it's Lenovo. Let's just see. Remove the one on the bottom here. They look universal, so I'm guessing they're pretty similar. Almost all of them. I'm gonna remove this tape here to see everything. So yeah, we will not need to remove this part entirely. I'm just going piece by piece, trying to figure out what has to be removed. Uh huh. So this will only need to be lifted a little. Remove this piece for the speaker. Boom, then that. Boom. On the other side of the speaker. One and two here. Boom. Then I'm going to try to lift this up. I don't think you need to lift the entire thing up. Or do you? Yes, you do. Boom. Move that out. That. Because you'll have to lift this entire part up. Now, remove the other side of the speaker. But be careful, make sure you have everything disconnected or you might damage something. Oh, come on. It's hard to lift it from here. I just can't get my my thumb in to lift it. 
it's like rock climbing. You know what? I changed my mind. You should use a pry tool. Yeah. I mean, I got it off, but at what cost? So yeah, I'm not going to disconnect any of these cables because I mean, it's not needed. But you also need to remove this. Just lift that up. And for this part, you're going to have to push it to the side and then lift because there is a clip in here. Am I able to access that without having to? Yes. So you can disconnect those cables, but you can also just push it a little away. So you can see this screw here. You can see that small screw for the fan, right? This one, boom. Just be careful with the cables. That's how you can do less work. If you can't access it, just remove those cables and be careful with them. So boom, that is the fan. Now I am going to have to disconnect that fan. Boom, disconnected. Going to have to clean that. Going to have to clean that too. Now for the last part, could say the hard part. I'm just going to have to twist this. There is a screw right here. Boom. Going to unscrew that, which holds the entire heat panel. Boom, right there. You just twist it a little around. Do not force it, or you will rip a cable or something like that. Just do it carefully. Then, can lift this panel up. Boom. As you can see, that's not entirely covered for some reason. So this will make it run better and cooler. So now I'm going to have to remove this. First of all, I'm going to use my vipes. There we go. Just going to remove it from the die here. There we go. Not going to remove anything else because, I mean, why would you do that? Same here. Just going to remove it from the die. You can completely remove absolutely everything, but I mean, you don't have to. Boom. Just make sure that's clean and the die is clean. Everything around is not that important. I mean, I would say it's not important as long as it's not hard and yeah, hard. Then you might want to remove it. This is just fine. You're not keeping the components around cool. You're keeping the die cool. So now grab my thermal paste. There we go. I'm gonna put it all around the die here. Okay, that is too much. That is way too much. I usually like to say better too much than too little, but hey, it is how it is. I'm going to just spread this out. First of all, I'm going to just spread it out. Then I'm going to try to just remove some of it with the Q-tip. That is way too much. Yeah, it's now covering absolutely everything. Good. Now, I can throw this away. Straight in the garbage disposal. And then, watch, watch those pads too. If they're hard as metal, then you might consider replacing those too. Now, I'm going to angle this, get it right in again, boom, and then screw these screws in. Do not tighten them completely, just tighten one side and tie the other side so the thermal paste doesn't come just like on one side 
of the dye and just spreads well. Boom. Just little and little. Boom. 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 There we go. Now, I'm going to just clean this. There's actually not too much here. I thought there was going to be way more. Yeah, there's not much. There was a little dust ball there, but I've cleaned this before, so there isn't that much. And here, I'm just going to do this over the trash can, just wipe all that dust out. And boom, I wiped that out. So I'm going to put this back in and then put in the connector. It's hard to show. There's a connector right there. I have to just put that in there. It's much easier to do when you don't have a camera in your face, trust me. You know what, let me just do this off camera. Basically, just put in that connector in there and just push it in. There we go. Now, put in the screws for the fan. That's one screw. And watch out so you don't over tighten them too. You might spin the screw out. Boom. Now I'm going to put everything back. Make sure to not damage any cables. Whoops, that connector came out on accident. Put this in, that in, when it's closed. That was my bad, I'll have to edit that. Boom, come on. The connector that fell out, there we go. Now I have to position this in. Come on. Just do not force it anything. Just try to use your brain on how it's supposed to come in. There we go. Boom. Did that carefully from the top and it worked out. One screw here. Boom, that's tight. Second screw. Boom, third screw. Boom, fourth screw. Nope, that's not going there. That's going here. Boom, this one up here on the top. And now for these, Start with this one. One. Two. And three. And boom. So now just make sure that all ribbon cables are in, like these. Watch out, the those are in. Do not forget the fan cable, the battery. Make sure that's in all the way. Just make sure all like the wi-fi is not disconnected while opening it make sure everything is where it's supposed to be that looks good that looks good that looks good no cables the ssd did not get opened now make sure to stick this down because we opened that and now you can also clean this out so i'm just going to do that over the trash can and boom now we'll line this Push everything in. Do not force it. We'll jiggle it around if it doesn't want to go in because there are clips and they need to hit the exact spot they want to hit or it will not work. Now, test that it works. You know what? Let's just charge it up. Some computers, they need to be charged before they can power off, power on if you have uh, done something on the inside. 
like my laptop does that. So I'm going to just charge this up and turn it on. And okay, so I just charged it up a little just to make sure that it works. And yes, it turned out mine was at 2%. So yeah, I'm not gonna waste that anymore. Boom, last click there. Yeah, yeah, I turned the fan on always high. I do recommend that you do the same because the temps do get really bad on the Legion Go and uh, having it always on high makes sure that you don't thermal throttle in any situation, which is good, which is really good. Because when you thermal throttle, you lose performance. So yeah, that's not good. Boom. Boom. And for the last screw. Boom. The joy cons, controllers, whatever you want to call them. And we're done. So the thermals will now be better. So yeah, thank you for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.